We going where? To the lab. So today we are going to make a quick, a quick crab stew. Quick crab stew. This can be things that you already have in your kitchen. You know what I'm saying? You can already have them in your pantry, your cabinets, or whatever. But it's simple little things that can make you turn yourself into the life of the party. But guess what? It ain't got to be at no party. It could be a cold night or a nice Sunday. And you want something warm in your stomach, but you want that seafood flour? I got something for you. So, let me tell you what we got for our ingredients. We're going to do red, green, bell peppers, some carnation evaporated milk, cream of celery, cream of potatoes, some half and half, a little salt. I got, mmm. I'm going to say a quarter a cup or a quarter cup. It's eight three cups, but I eat some. So we're going to say a quarter cup <laughs> or maybe half, maybe less than that of some smoked oysters. Okay. So then over here, we got two pounds imitation crab meat. So get the same consistency that you would want as if, if you're out there in the Atlantic, down there on the Tavi, putting your own crabs in. All right. So. What we're gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and wash up. All right, you know, my grandma, it's Queen B. You know, it's my Belma. And I, I love my grandma made with a death, you know? And it's a blessing to still have her here. But, you know, God is good all the time, you know? So, these are one of the things, like I always tell you, my grandma, my grandma fed everybody. So, me tagging along on that skirt. These are some simple recipes this season that I'm gonna bring to you how my grandma would throw something together real quick for the party. Alright? So get what? Let me tell you what we're gonna do. A quick crab stew. So first thing we're gonna do is I already had my little iron chef, copper chef over here, already preheated. So now we're going in with this is two tablespoons of butter. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and let this up this melt down. Okay. While this is doing its thing, I'm gonna come over here. You know, we we could have used some Vidalia onions. I'm a Georgia boy, so you know I keep I, I keep it real with the Vidalia onions. It's the truth, you know, I don't, I, I don't care what kind of meal you're making and you got to use onions. But I dare you always the truth, but this time I want to do something a little different. Okay, so we're going with the red onion. And what I need is a nice small dice. Okay, so. Here we go. See a small dice, right? See what we got. See what we got. We got the small dice. So we come back and make it even more final, okay? Okay, so, come over here. The butter's already melted. So now what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go ahead and saute these onions, okay? The full recipe calls for a medium-sized onion. It, it all depends on what, what kind of flair or what you wanna 
what your, what your taste is going to be. But I recommend the red onion, personally, I do. Okay, so you want to saute these out. Okay. So, while that's doing that, I'm going to come here. So, I was talking to y'all good folks a little while ago. I'm telling you, I'm going to make some quick crab stew. Alright, so here we go. So, you know, you see what we got here? We got our onions and our bell peppers. Everything is translucent. Okay? So, that's cool. So, now we're going to come with one cup of milk. Okay? Got that. So now we're gonna go ahead and mix this up real good. Get everything to go on, okay? So while this is heating up and everything is getting its essence and everything is doing what it gotta do, now we're finna go on with the cream of potatoes and the cream of celery. Here we go. Cream of celery. Alright, so you gotta remember, right? Like I always tell you, I like a little color. As long as you got an onion base to build up off of. But me, I gotta do a little extra, okay? So that's the reason why I added the bell peppers. But really, you can be just for onions, all right? So this is your best, and I ain't through with it yet, all right? So what we're gonna do is now, I'm gonna cut this up, and we're gonna just come to a ball. So now, remember I say we're gonna just come to a little, like, little ball, like a little summer, okay? We're not through, okay? So now, I need to get one I'm gonna make it easy for you. We're gonna get one soup can, a half and half. Okay. Okay, yeah. We got that going on. That's done. You wanna whisk this in real good? If you look at it and you see the consistency of it, you see it? It's thickening up. It smells so good. It smells so good. Mabel will be proud of me right now. Y'all hear me? I'm imitating one of her recipes, so it feels kind of good. Growing up as a kid, hey, my grandma, I mean, we was, my grandma was a social type of person. You know, she felt a passion in her heart for you. Hey, we show love. So I'm just trying to show a little love to the things that I know. So we still got some more cream of potatoes. So now this is already simmered out. I'm gonna add some more. So, we use one can and a half of cream of potatoes. Okay, so now I need for this to come to a ball. But look how thick and chunky it is. Okay. This can be a soup, this can be a bisque, or this can be a topping over your favorite grain, rice, quinoa, or whatever. Got a little bit of wine, never hurt nobody. So, in this recipe right here, we call for a quarter cup of sherry wine. So, here we go. One quarter cup. 
So guess what we're gonna do? We want two quarter cups. I'm gonna take it over the end. Okay, so that's what we have. So now what you wanna do is now you wanna, you wanna mix this on there real well. Did you see the thickness? This is what you want. Okay? This is really what you want right here. And the more it cooks and the more it reduces down, then it's gonna it's gonna have that quick stew type system to it. But guess what? It's gonna twist. So it was before the cup, so you, you see it's not that much now. So I eat some. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is I want this oyster juice. Oysters, go ahead and drop off in there. Okay, and as I'm doing that, I'm stirring. I'm stirring. Okay, I'm stirring. So, it was not going to be a crab stew. We don't got the crab. Okay, this is two cups of crab. You know, so. This right here is quick and easy crab stew. How long is this gonna cook for? Baby, I'm gonna let this cook for like about another seven more minutes. I see them bubbles, so I'm gonna take it over the edge, come back to it. We'll see it in about seven minutes. Good folks. You gotta smell this. You gotta smell this. You gotta smell this. Hey, I'm not done yet. We're gonna let that rock on in. Okay. So look, it's starting to all come together. So now what you wanna do is you wanna bring it down to a simmer. Okay. So I just wanted my crab to get in here and blend along with everything else. So I can do that. That's all right. But like I said, you can flavor this to your own taste. It's a little fresh because of the crab meat. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna give you a little bit of salt. Just season to taste. Season to taste. I got a little sage right here. Okay. I know my profile. I know what I'm trying to achieve. Even though I brag on my little secret little spice, when it comes down to the seafood, certain stews that I do, check out this crab stew. I come back, we're gonna pick this dish up. So let's go ahead and pick this up. Okay? So over here, I decided to go with some. Wheat, grain, rice. So, so I'm gonna go ahead. Thank y'all for subscribing and liking. Best eats. Hey, like I always say, all of my meals that I'm bringing to y'all, good folks. You can always add a little twist to it. And you turn out for it to be what you want to be. Like this crab stew right here. See this right here? You can chill this in the refrigerator overnight. And it can be a hell of a deal. It's your boy T. Best. Best eats. Eat it. And be the best.